Welcome to Electra Online. GPS uses the big engine format of data. What does that mean? And sometimes other systems they use little engine and then how do we convert from big engine to little engine or vice versa? Well, in order to understand the concept better what big engine means and how that's used in GPS, well, let's read the definition. It says big engine is MSB first or to the left like normal numbers. Here we have the decimal number 1025. The number on the left is the biggest one, that means thousands. The second one means hundreds. The third one means tens. And the fourth one on the right means single digits. So the most significant bit, that's what MSB means, the most significant bit is to the left. And that's what we're used to, and that is what GPS uses. In all data format, the bit furthest to the left is the most significant bit, represents the biggest of all the numbers in that data stream. Little Indian means LSB first, means the smallest is first. And so that would be writing the number, well, I was tempted to write 5201, but that's not exactly how we convert in hex or in decimal, I mean in hex or in the 16-bit or 32-bit format. That's not exactly how we convert from one to the other, so let me explain that. So in order to illustrate, let's use a 16-bit number. Let's convert the decimal number 1025. Well, essentially that's equal to 1024 plus 1. And there's a reason why we write it like that. And this is in big engine format. So in hex, this number 1025 would be 0401. In binary, it would be four zeros, zero one zero zero, four zeros, zero 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 one. And how that works is, for example, this way. This is bits zero all the way to bit 15. In Big Indian, what that means is that we have this first bit represents 2 to the 0 power times the number that's in there. This represents 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th, all the way to 2 to the 10 power multiplied by this number here. Since everything else zeros, we don't have to worry about it, but here it's 2 to the 0 is equal to uh, 1, of course, and we multiply that times this number right here. So this is 1 times 1. Actually, I should probably should write it like that, 1 times 1. And we add that to 2 to the 10. Now, 2 to the 10 times 1 is 1024. Ah, let me just leave that off, otherwise it gets confusing. So 2 to the 10 is 1024. We add 1024 plus 1, we get 1025, the decimal equivalent. In hex, notice that the first digit to the right here, the least significant bit, because we're working in big Indian, is 1 times 10 to the 16 to the 0 power. And this is 0 times 16 to the first power. This is 4 times 16 to the second power and 0 times 16 to the third power. So eventually I could have written 1 times 2 to the 10 and 1 times 2 to the 0. That might have been a better way to write it. And so you can see that in binary or in hex, this is what those numbers represent. And this is in the big Indian format. Now, how do we convert that to little Indian? Well, it's not exactly a swapping. It's not like we take this whole string and just flip it over or take this whole string and flip it over. What we do instead is this. In hex format, notice we separate eight bits at a time. The first eight bits and the second eight bits, this is in hex format. So instead of writing 0401, we write 0104. We swap eight bits at a time. Same in binary format. Instead of just taking the whole thing and flipping it over, we take these eight bits and put it over here, and these eight bits and put it over here, and notice we get this equivalent. So this is the equivalent number in little Indian format to this number, which is in big Indian format. And this number here in 16-bit hex is the little Indian format, and that's how you convert it back to big Indian format if you want to go back in the other direction. So we move eight bits at a time, and that's how we swap between big Indian and little Indian. And you say, well, why in the world would anyone want to do that? Well, in a way, unfortunately, a lot of systems are designed to work with big Indian, but there's a, quite a few numbers of systems that are actually designed to work with little Indian. And in some cases, we have to convert back and forth if you put both types of components that work in opposite ends, Put them in the same design, then you have to convert from one to the other when you have this mismatch between Big Indian and Little Indian. But at least if you're wondering what it was and how to convert, this is how it's done.